Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Lambo channel. Is that all it took? One day, uh, you know, after uh, Bitcoin has the roughly $6,000 candle, one day later, XRP goes up like 7 or 8%, and that's all it takes, and now everybody's got happy sentiment again? <laughs> I'm not seeing a lot of sad people lately in the XRP community. Not, not, not today or yesterday, not particularly. I mean, yeah, there were some people on on uh, social media platform X ripping on, on XRP, uh, noting that, you know, XRP... Uh, you know, against Bitcoin not looking so hot. But you know, like, like I keep saying, historically, when that is the case, that precedes a massive move. I, I was saying the same damn thing in 2020. The XRP BTC pair looked horrific. And I was I was saying it back then. I was like, guys, just so you know, uh, when it looks that horrific, that usually is because we're about to see a rip to the upside. And that's what happened then too. So we haven't seen the face melting part of that with XRP yet. But I mean, unless you think the whole market's going to collapse right now, it's coming. XRP is not going to stay this low against Bitcoin forever. Um, and so, uh, yeah, there's some people ripping on XRP, but it's mostly like Bitcoin maxi types. Other than that, I'm not seeing the people from our community uh, complaining as much today. Well, go figure. So I'm going to share with you some, some perspective from uh, some chart analysts here. But, um, you know, and, and including one guy says that uh, he has an XRP official bull run announcement, which I found very fascinating. But before going further, I do want to be clear. I do not have a financial background of any kind. I am not offering financial advice. And you definitely should not buy or sell anything because of anything I say or write. I'm just an enthusiast who enjoys making YouTube videos about crypto related topics, but just as a hobby and just for fun. All right. So here we have a post from chart analyst E. Greg Crypto. And he wrote the following, XRP slash BTC official bull run announcement. As anticipated, XRP continues to decline against Bitcoin following the $6,000 surge in Bitcoin, which absorbed most of the liquidity. Possible target? 0 0.00000793. So pretty low, pretty low. <laughs> I mean, that's... Uh, that's quite the disparity right, compared to where XRP was against Bitcoin in the past, especially at its high. Because uh, at one point, man, XRP had over 30% market dominance. Now, of course, when you see that from coins that aren't Bitcoin, it's usually a brief moment in the sun. And that's fine. Like, I understand like, when Bitcoin or when XRP hit its new all-time high, it ran up to the top in about two and a half weeks. So, yeah, you wouldn't expect it to stay there, but still. Uh, anyway, he continues. While this may be frustrating for some, it is actually beneficial for XRP from a structural perspective. Historically, touching the baseline has signaled the official start of a XRP BTC bull run. And then he shared this chart. If you want to look at it, feel free to pause here, but I'm going to keep on chugging along. He's just showing like historically when this happens, which is again what I was saying. Like, look where I'm circling right now. If, if, I mean, if you care to look. Like, this, this is what I was talking about. In 2020, uh, as XRP BTC looked like complete garbage, I was like, Guys, just look in the past. What happened at these other moments? It's, it's gone up. And that is exactly what happened. Is this time going to be different? No. No, this time will not be different. I'll, I'll, I'll hazard that prediction, all right? That's, that's my belief. Nobody knows for sure what's going to happen. Okay. I feel very strongly about this one, unless the market's actually going to collapse, and that's it. In which case, fine. <laughs> There's a black swan event or something happens. Okay. Outside of that, ugh, come on. <laughs> Anyway, he continues, historical patterns and price predictions in terms of dollars, let's assume Bitcoin is at least $70,000 and $100,000 for simplification. Cycle one, target price, 0.000115. So Bitcoin at $70,000 means XRP $8.05. Bitcoin at $100,000 means XRP at $11.50. Folks, very conservative targets as far as I'm concerned. That's that's completely within the realm of possibility. Unless you think Bitcoin isn't going to hit a new all-time high, then XRP wouldn't hit that. But under this uh, this scenario, Bitcoin has. And so even if XRP legs behind, which historically it has, okay, whatever, I'm fine with that. I got a bunch of other alts too. I'll, I'll sell them on the way out. <laughs> I'll sell those first because those will probably run first. You know, if history kind of rhymes with itself. And then he says cycle two, price target 0.0003. Bitcoin, $70,000, XRP, $21. Uh, Bitcoin, $100,000, XRP, $30. Cycle three. Uh, Bitcoin, $70,000, XRP, $2.45. Uh, Bitcoin, $100,000, uh, XRP, $3.50. Um, and then he says, uh, XRP, BTC, official bull run announcement update. Oh, and then... Uh, 
as, uh, as anticipated, XRP continues to decline against Bitcoin following the $6,000 surge. Did that just re did it loop and I didn't, wow. Actually, he, I think it's, it's in there twice. I didn't catch that when I was reading that earlier. I guess I just thought that I had scrolled further. <laughs> Either way, it doesn't matter. So, so that that's the analysis there. Um, so again, I don't make I don't make price predictions, but in terms of directionally where this would be going, uh, yeah, that, I, I just I'd be shocked if it doesn't. Uh, then there was this post from uh, from this morning from chart analysts love crypto XRP, flirting with the two hundred weekly and daily SMAs. Flipping both would be a positive sign. And I'll note that. Uh, Lip Crypto for years has been an XRP bull. In fact, here's a post from uh, January 16th. He wrote, uh, people think I'm bearish on XRP. I'm not. Never have been for the long-term chart. I'll just pause and note, anybody that thinks he's bearish, it's because there have been uh, sh on, on, on a, uh, you know, a shorter time period instances where he was concerned that it could go lower. But over the long haul, no, he hasn't wavered on that at all. And then he says, here's a macro chart from more than a year ago. Uh, depending on what Bitcoin does, this is a very plausible option for 2024 XRP price. Patience. And what was that what was that post? Uh, it was from November 29th, 2022. So this is after the FTX collapse, shortly after it. And he wrote the following. XRP macro outlook. Been range bound for five years now between 15 cents and $1.97. The price action suggests it'll likely take another 1.25 to 1.5 years for macro range breakout with my main target at $25, which folks, that's about how much time has passed since he, since he wrote that. We're pretty much there. And if you look at the XRP BTC chart, I mean, what do you think happens next? And we see a uh, Bitcoin ripping to the upside. So unless that stops, you know, just is what it is. Just saying, man. Uh, and then there was this from good morning crypto XRP ready for breakout. Historical patterns show potential fireworks in the XRP price chart. In 2017, 700% surge, a brief correction, and soaring 60,000% plus in 12 months. 2020, 40% dip, followed by a jaw-dropping 1,000% rise. Reminder, in 2017, when XRP soared 60,000% in 12 months, from 0 0.006 cents to $3.84, Bitcoin passed all-time high before the XRP bull run. Now, with XRP community sentiment low and a breakout looming in the charts, what's your 2024 price prediction? Well, I'm not going to make a price prediction, but these are all very reasonable observations. Like It's fact, and it kind of plays into what I was saying just a couple minutes ago. You know, Bitcoin goes, XRP follows, legs behind, melts faces, and then all the people, all the, all the haters leading up to the, those points look like damn fools. And it just keeps happening. Like every single cycle, oh, XRP, XRP, what a garbage coin. You couldn't put anything else. And then XRP rips to the upside. Now, XRP, even last market cycle, XRP still outperformed what people thought given the SEC lawsuit was at play. XRP still went to two bucks and stayed in the top 10 cryptos by market cap. I mean, I mean, the, the haters were in disbelief over that but given the SEC lawsuit. XRP always uh, outperforms what those toxic Bitcoin maxi trolls articulate they believe is going to happen. And then there's also this from Altcoin Sherpa, popular chart analyst. And he wrote the following. Bitcoin, the next area up is probably $60,000. I can't believe that we're trading like this without any pullbacks, and I'm glad I just stayed long as F the entire way. There should be some sort of pullback around all-time highs, but this has been mind-blowing to see. And, and folks, I gotta say, like... Yesterday was impressive. Like yesterday, six thousand dollars in one day. As many people are saying, nope, Bitcoin stopped. Well, did six thousand dollars yesterday? Just saying. Uh, here's chart analyst Matthew Highland. Bitcoin, no signs of stopping yet. At some point, there will be a top that pulls back our consolidation, but we have not seen either yet. So it looks like it wants more. Short time frame equals anything can happen. So if it's wrong, it's wrong. But expect higher. And, and so I am seeing this. Like, there's, there's a broad expectation that this thing keeps ripping. We'll, we'll see what happens. I mean, I, I'll just be in stunned disbelief. Like, if it goes up to like sixty, sixty-two, sixty-five thousand dollars, but without a, without any sort of notable pullback, I will just be like, oh, party time, man. <laughs> it's fun, man. Have fun with this stuff, you know. Uh, here you have famous chart analyst Peter Brandt. Bitcoin update. With the thrust above the upper boundary of the 15-month channel, the target for the current bull market cycle scheduled to end in August slash September of 2025 uh, is being raised from $120,000 to $200,000. Uh, 
a close below last week's low will nullify this interpretation. So what he's saying is, based on the ridiculous bullish uh, performance we've seen of late, he believes uh, this thing, the Bitcoin's going to be topping at 200 grand. And I hope he's right. You, you start to get much higher than that, and I just start scratching my head, though. I'm just like, really? You, you, know, you think we're getting 300,000? I don't know. I'm skeptical. Would love to see it. <laughs> a little skeptical of that. Um, but but he does believe, obviously, in the, the, the four-year cycle, which is why he's talking about 2025, which is perfectly fine. And then we have this from the Daily Hoddle. Analyst says XRP and one Ethereum rival flashing bullish signal updates outlook on Bitcoin. A closely followed crypto strategist says XRP and one additional altcoin are giving off a bullish reading that could lead to a move to the upside. Synonymous analyst Ali Martinez tells his 47,900 followers on the social media platform X that XRP looks bullish based on the Tom DeMarc, or TD, sequential indicator. The TD sequential indicator is typically used to identify trend direction and potential price reversals. And so here's a quote from chart analyst Ali Martinez. The TD sequential indicator has issued a buy signal on the XRP weekly chart indicating potential bullish momentum. If XRP manages a sustained weekly close above 57 cents, it could be the catalyst for a push towards 63 cents or even higher, reaching 65 cents. And so I'll just note, at least at the time I'm recording this, it is above that 57 cent price level. Now, crypto happens fast. So who knows? By the time you're watching this, it, it could be 65 cents or it could be 53 cents. I don't, I don't know. But I'm just noting that most analysts that are reputable and I, that I follow are thinking from this point, very good chance XRP is going to be ripping to the upside. It can't, it's not going to stay at this low forever. Like historically, that would just be unprecedented. This is an exciting time to be an XRP holder, despite what recently many XRP holders have exhibited publicly in terms of their emotions. This is an exciting time, not a scary time or a time to be mad or depressed. No, this, this is it. This is the moment right before stuff goes. This is what it was like years ago in, in 2020. I mean, it's, it's what people went through for the second half of 2017. And then the next are Peter and melts faces. It's fantastic. I'm not a financial advisor. You should not buy or sell anything because of anything I say or write. That would be a very, very, very bad idea. Until next time, to the moon, Lambo.